at 11, the final hours before the primaries in campaign 2018, the contentious and expensive race for Florida governor marred tonight by a message of hate. Democrat Philip Levine and all of his challengers quick to condemn that anti-Semitic vandalism. Now with nearly 2 million votes already cast, the polls will open in eight hours for everyone else to make their decisions in a host of key primaries. CBS 4's David Seta is covering campaign 2018 tonight. He is live at Miami-Dade Election Headquarters. David? Yeah, typically primaries, especially in midterms, have low voter turnout. This year is definitely going to be the exception. We have had turnout in early voting and mail by vote, uh, mail in voting, uh, exceptionally high, higher than the past few elections. To some candidates, they think this is working to their advantage, others saying maybe not. With just hours to go, Florida's gubernatorial candidates made stops across South Florida. The Republican frontrunner endorsed by the president dropping in at Versailles in Little Havana. Um, you know, we're going to do very well in Miami-Dade County tomorrow. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to a uh, strong turnout for us. And then, then on to November, I think we're going to do well tomorrow. Polls indicate Ron DeSantis has a commanding lead over the once frontrunner Agricultural Commissioner Adam Putnam. The polls also indicate a shift for the Democratic candidates. Rumors have been swirling billionaire Jeff Green is bowing out. Of course I'm not suspending my campaign. I'm coming to my field office. Green canceled his watch party for election night, opting to watch the results at home. Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum has made significant progress on the campaign trail the last two weeks. Gillum's branding himself as the only non-millionaire candidate. My name is a proxy for those of us who want access to affordable health care in this state. And that health care be treated as a right and not a privilege in the state of Florida. Former Miami Beach Mayor Philip Levine's campaign believes if they can win South Florida, they can win the state. But in St. Petersburg today, things got ugly as swastikas were painted on campaign signs. On Twitter, Levine said, quote, we are better than the haters, bigger than the bigots, and tomorrow we will show them why. Other candidates supported Levine on Twitter, including Gwen Graham, daughter of former Senator Bob Graham. The latest polls show Graham is to be the frontrunner ahead of Gillum and Levine. As the 2018 primary day approaches, early voting and absentee voting appear to be unusually high. Broward County has seen twice the number of vote-by-mail ballots as seen in 2014, and early voting is three times higher than it was in 2014. Miami-Dade County has also seen more votes by mail, more than the presidential primary as well from 2016. And early voting in Miami-Dade is considerably high compared to years past. Clearly, more voters are interested in where Florida goes this November. In Miami, there is more interest in this race in addition to the governor's race here, we're talking about District 27, the Congress seat uh, that was held by Ileana Ross Layton for nearly 30 years. It's an open seat now. 15 candidates vying for that seat now. It should be interesting to see who takes each uh, nomination for the Democrats and Republicans. We're live in Doral, David Sutter, CBS 4 News tonight.